Hi friends. So in this video, we are going to see how to calculate average minimum and maximum of employee salary by using Java stream. Okay, so this is my workspace. So in this workspace, I am going to create three classes. So let's see. So one class is, is the main class, which is going to execute our program. The second class is the entity class which is used to create the employee object. The third class is the utility class, the where it has the static methods, which is mainly used to create the list of employees. So let's create one by one. So first I'll create my first class that is entity class. So I will give the package name com dot advanced Java. So in this series, we will see the advanced Java concepts. So like streams, Lambda expressions and functional interface and many more. So let's start with the stream first. First, I will create employee class. So this is my employee class. So in the employee class, I'm going to create three attributes, okay? Class three object instance. So first is ID, which is mainly used to store employee ID. I will use primitive data type, so long, okay? So next thing is age, okay? So third one is salary. This is very important salary. So we are going to do all the computation by using this field only. Okay. So if you are using any spring or any advanced project, you can use for go for Lombok uh, project uh, library to create and get and setter method. This is like a small Java application. So I'll just create the source by using source. I'll create getter and setter. So it has the three getter and setter methods. So apart from that, okay, I can create the constructor. So I'll create the constructor. You know. Generate the constructor by using three fields because I am going to create the object with by passing the values to the constructor. Okay, so now my entity is ready. Okay. Yeah, okay. So it has the getter and setter method. It has the constructor and object is ready. So next thing is I'm going to create one utility class. Okay, that is util class to create the list of employees. So let's see create. So I'll create new util class. I'll name as employee util.java. Okay. It's okay in that employee first. This is a util class as I mentioned. So we are not going to create any object for that class. So for safer side, we will create one private constructor. So this private constructor will doesn't allow the object creation. Okay, it's a best practice. So whenever you create any util class, so better create one private constructor so that any other developer should not create the object for this util class. Okay, it is meant for because it's all the methods in this util class is a static methods. Okay, so let's create one method to get the employees. Before that, I want to generate the ID and age and salary. Okay, so in typical project, these three values will come from user entry forms. User will enter age and uh, salary HR will enter. So the ID, it will be generated by using our JPA automatically the Oracle sequence. But in this case, I am going to randomly create the a ID agent salary by using our random method. So for that, I'm going to create public int get random number. Okay, get random number. So this method will take two input arguments. One is lower limit another one is upper limit 
Okay. So first thing is I'm returning return thread local random. Thread local random dot th okay current okay current dot next in so this will this method next in will generate random numbers but i want to be range within the range so that's why i'm giving lower limit upper limit so i will give the limit so within the limit that random number will generate it so that we have the control Okay, this is a simple method. Next thing is I'm going to create a employee database. So how I can create, I want list of employees, right? To generate the uh, salary. So for one employee, I cannot generate. So we have to generate salary, average of salary from list of employees. So I'm going to create one array list, list of employees, employees equal to new array list. Util dot list. So my employee list is ready. So I'm going to return, not in private constructor. I have to create this method separately. The method should be public static list of employee. Get employees. Okay, so this method get employees method will return the list of employees. So now we have to populate the data for this, how we can generate. So for that, I want to create 100 employees. So by using in stream, I can generate 100 numbers. In stream dot range one to 100. So this range method, whatever input parameter you are giving, so that based on that input parameter, it will create that much in stream, okay? So this is the part of stream API. So this 100 numbers, it will create the 100, one to 100 numbers. So I'm iterating one by one. So it's a stream of 100 numeric numbers. So I'll get one, two, three, like that, up to 100 numbers I will get. So I'm iterating that. Then by using Lambda expression, I'm getting that value one by one, okay? I'm getting the ID. So first I'll get one to 100. So that ID based on that ID, I'm going to create 100 employees. Employee, employee equal to new employee. Okay, so here it requests two, three argument. It requests three argument. So for that first argument is ID. So this is whatever ID is coming, right? One to hundred. I'm assigning that as a ID itself. So second argument is age. So for that, I'm using this get random number method to generate the age. So first uh, range, I want the range between 20 to 80. So this is the input. This will create the age between 20 to 80. Okay, the third is again, get random number get random number between the range of 1000 to 5000. So for example, I want the salary, I want to set the employee salary between $1,000 to $50,000. This is a static method, okay? So why I'm getting error? So you cannot, you cannot refer the unstatic method from static method, so for that, I'm using static method. So our employees generated, I repeat, I just create the stream of 100 numbers. I'm iterating those numbers. Then I'm assigning that number as a ID. Then by using get random number method, I am generating age and salary. I'm setting to this employee. After setting that, I'm assigning though employee, that employee to employee list. So now our employee database is ready, got it? Okay, so now, we are going to create our main application. So that application is, by using that application, we will calculate the average of 100 employees, minimum salary and maximum salary. So I will create new class. 
employee application. Okay, so in that class, I will generate main method. Okay, in the main method, I am just first I'm getting list of employees. So employee list. Okay, so from how I can get, I can get from employee util, employee util dot get employees. So this method will give list of employees, got it? I got the list of employees. Okay, so I got the list of employees. Now I want to print whether I'm getting the employee for testing, I can by using sysout, okay? By using sysout, I want to print, but I can, it's not a single employee. I want to print all 100 employees. So for that, I can use the stream. So employees dot for each, okay? Employee dot for each system dot out colon print ln. So, so by using method reference concept from Java 8 onwards, there is a new concept called method reference. So anything is, we are iterating the stream, the input is we are passing to any method, the argument is only one value, then directly we can use method reference. So this is the way, this is called method reference, okay? Yeah, I'm running this. Okay, so this concept, so what you are seeing, right? So this is called method reference. Okay, so this is called method reference. Okay, so this is the used in Java 8 stream. Okay, okay, so now we got 100, 100 employees got listed in here, but it is not in the readable format, right? So we have to, uh, it's like a hash code format. So we have to use to human readable format. How we can do, we have to create a two string method. So I'm going here, right click, source, two string. So this two string method will generate, however you format, which format you want, you can generate, but basically this is a basic format. So now if I run the same program again, See, this is now all 100 employees getting printed. So, but my employee is starting from one to 100. Okay, so it's, it's, it's using like an array concept, only 99 employees got generated. If you want to increase the count, you can go to util method, you can increase. Okay, this is the from, this is a limit till 100. So I'm giving 101, then I'm running again. Before, okay, before 100, now 100 employees, I got it. So if you see, this is the random methods. So what ID is getting assigned, but 67, 37, it is getting random. You can see here, age is only getting set to 67, but salary is getting until 50,000 because I gave the limit. So I want the age from 20 to 80, but I want the salary from 1,000 to 50,000, okay? So this is the limit I have set here. Okay. Yeah, so this method, random method, it will give you random numbers based on your limits. So now we got the employee list. So now we are going to, we print also. So what we are going to calculate, so three things we are going to calculate. One is average. So let's see how we can calculate for a single line code. So before Java 8, we have to iterate it and we have to do the mathematical calculations and lot of stuff we have to do. But from Java 8, the, with the use of a stream concept, we can single line and Lambda expression, we can calculate whatever, the mathematical calculation we want very easily. So let's see how we done. So first we have to stream it, okay? We have to get the data. So that what employee dot stream, stream, okay? Employees dot stream, after streaming, what we have to do, map to int. So here lot of values are there. So <coughs> our value is uh, however you want. So first I'm going to, this is the, our data type is integer data type. So I'm just, getting map to int, okay? Our salary is integer data type. So map to int 
then by using again method reference i am getting the salary so this is the object employee object but i want to calculate the average for salary so i am getting the salary by using get salary method that's all okay so employees dot stream map to int dot salary then what do you want to calculate we want to calculate our average okay so now i i'm going to by use this using this method so i'm going to calculate the average of the employee salary okay then dot average so this this map to int after mapping to int it will give a lot of method we can do the sum we can get the how much employees are there by using count method but i want i'm interested in calculating average so i'm getting average method then the average it will come as a double format because if you go to average data type method so this average method come as a optional okay so it can be a null because there is no data it will give null so we can get you have to handle optional double but i'm sure this is already we have created a database so i'm sure data are there so directly i'm getting get as double okay otherwise you have to get as a optional uh, double then we have to check whether it is available then we have to go okay so we got it so now average i got how i can calculate the min who is getting minimum salary so same thing that is a data type is min so min salary so again i'm we can do employees dot stream dot map to int everything same map to int employee get salary okay then finally dot min okay this also again optional int because all the stream output will come as a optional so this optional int if you go this has the method call it, it will check you can check whether it is a empty or what is there we have to check before in the real time project we have to call this method e is present so otherwise it will throw null pointer exception right but here i we are doing sample project so we are directly i'm calling the values otherwise you have to check whether e is present the value is present then you have to get it but now i am getting directly so don't call this get as int method directly in the real time project first use if condition if this optional int is present then call this get as int method so now we have got the min salary next thing is max salary in the max salary same thing so whatever we have done everything same so instead of min i have to call max okay so after getting this finally we are going to print everything okay sys out average average equal to plus average salary okay then sys out min equal to min salary then finally sys out max equal to max salary okay so this is the very easiest way okay run as java application okay so i can get the averages and minimum and maximum this is our expected output okay so thanks for your time bye